Defining a property in GDScript is easy as declaring a variable. You can export this variable and then it is going to show in editor. In this video, I'm going to do the same thing in GD extension. Here is the test class which I created before and these are property which I define. One is integer, other one is float, and this is the go.string. I also created a texture2d property. This way you can grab a texture2d. Properties are a great way to communicate from Godot editor to GD extension class. Also, this is a good way to load some resource to use them in your GD extension class, like this texture2d. So let's do it. Here is a GD extension code which I wrote before. First thing to do is to define your data. I define this data as private because you are going to access these through method. I define my integer, float, and a string value. Next thing to do is to define setter and getter method for this. And I define these method as public. Well, let's do that. Okay, that is done. Now let's define the body of this method. All of this could be a little bit boring, but you should get used to that. Now, first thing we should do, we should bind this getter and setter method, and after that, we are going to add these properties. If you don't know how to bind method, please watch my other video in this video series. Okay, please note here, the setter method has an input which you should name that. Okay, that is done. Now, let's add our property. We are going to do this with a macro which is called add property. This macro is going to call another static method inside class db, which is also called add property. As a first argument for add property, we should give that information about our property. We pass this information in the form of the C++ struct. This struct is called property info. If you look at the constructor of this struct, you can see it has six input. But in most cases, you need to define only two of them, and other input will be set to their default value automatically. So in this case, our property has type integer, and as you know, every property type in Godot is associated with an integer number. You can grab that number from variant class. Well then, we should give our property a name, and that is done. And then for other two arguments for add property macro, we should pass the name of setter and getter method. Well done. I'm going to do the same thing for other property which we have created. Okay, now let's see what will happen in Godot. As you can see, our property is added properly. Now let's define our texture2d property. Here in C++, first I'm going to include the texture2d header. Next, in the private section, I'm going to declare my texture2d. You should wrap the texture2d in ref class because it is somehow inherited from ref counted. If you are not familiar with ref counted, please watch my other video about ref counted. And then I'm going to define a setter and getter for texture2d. Well, it is done. Now first let's bind setter and getter method. Then let's define this property. But one thing to note, this time we should pass more information about this property. Otherwise, it is not going to show well in Godot editor. If you look at the property info, this time we should pass property hint and property hint string. You can also change the behavior of this property by defining its property usage. For example, you can set it's not to be shown in Godot editor, which by default, it is like that. If you don't have any idea what is the property hint and what is the property hint string and usage, please watch my other video about object class. Okay, for the type, you should set it to type object because this inherits somehow from object. Then put the name of the property Next, put the property hint as property hint resource type, and then you should put the hint string to be texture2d. This way, I can assign a texture2d and everything which inherit from texture2d to my property. And please note, the hint string should match the Godot class name. And after compiling my library, you can see that in Godot. Thank you for watching. Till the next video, bye.